in the north part of Texas. We welcome you to Guadalupe Mountain National Park. We just entered Guadalupe Mountains National Park. This now is the moment of truth. We have no campsite reservation. It is first come, first served. It's almost seven o'clock at night on a Saturday. So let's hope we find something available. I've walked through the entire campsite, but there is nothing available. So it's time to resort to plan B. The problem is I don't have a plan B. <laughs> This is gonna be interesting. Okay, we just started our hike right now. We are going, Lord willing, to the top of Guadalupe Mountain, which is the highest point in Texas. Uh, elevation of the mountain is about 8,700 feet above sea level. Our hike will consist of a 3,000 foot elevation change. Uh, that's a lot, and just to put that in perspective, Grand Canyon is 4,500 feet, so this is about two-thirds of a Grand Canyon. But the good thing is you get to go up first, and you get to come down second. Let's keep it going. I'd say we're about three-quarters of a mile into this trail. And as you can see by that last pan, um, we've made significant elevation gains already. Uh, very, very steep at the beginning of this trail. I assume based upon the distance we still need to go and the elevation we need to cover that it's gonna level off in certain points along the way. It's been a good workout so far. How's it going, Shane? I'm doing good, and um, um, my face isn't red, so that's Like good. mom's face? Yeah. He said I look different. He said I have, um, my face looks different, and my hair, my face is red, and my hair is blonde. Uh -huh. How are you doing, Mom? <laughs> I'm good. I'm doing good. It's good. It's fun. I like it. You see the cliff there? We gotta be extra careful here. That's straight off on the right-hand side, so we're gonna stay to the left near this wall, okay? You can do it. Can All right, stop right there. Woo! It's getting windy. One of the nice things about this hike is as you ascend to the peak, you go through various ecosystems. You can see right now we've left that rugged, deserty type flora to more of a uh, pine tree, evergreen um, landscape here. A little more shade on this side. With that wind, it cools it off considerably. Morning, how you doing? <laughs> doing great. Yeah. How you guys going you up? a shot of trail mix to get you going? Yeah, thank you. That's fine. Uh, good, buddy? You yeah. going up or down? Yeah, we're going all the way up. Oh, are you? Yeah. So it's all the way to that peak over there? I don't think so. I think there's a lot of false peaks. One thing that throws off a lot of hikers on this one is you keep seeing summits ahead of you like this one right here, but they're basically false peaks. You keep going and every time you see one, you realize that's not the one. There's one further off in the distance. So we're moving on, we're doing good. Little nine-year-old is doing better than both of us combined. And we're making good progress.
All right, Shane, you're doing a great job. We are about a mile, less than a mile now, away from the top. And you wanted to quit about a half mile ago, didn't you? Yeah. Aren't you glad you pressed on? Yeah. You know a saying I learned when I was playing sports? The mind always gives in before the body gives out. Does that make sense? Guadalupe Mountain, tallest point in Texas. Now we gotta go back. <laughs> At least the hard part is over. So, worst case scenario, there was no campsites available at Guadalupe Mountains. So we got some quick drone footage outside the park and now we're heading up to White City to look for a place to sleep. It is almost eight o'clock and the sun is just about set. So let's hope campground number two about 30 minutes away works for us let's check out look at this it's like all trucks in this parking lot I feel like I'm at a Trump rally so I went inside the roadway in I got good news and I got bad news no rooms available no they got rooms available <laughs> but we'll set you back $149 for one night <laughs> But the good news is they have a campground at $22 a night. Where? With bathrooms and showers just down the road. You pay here. Uh, what are you going to do? What's it called? Sight unseen? You pay and you just hope that it's going to be okay when you get there. You got to go for it. 149 yeah. This is not really the greatest looking hotel either. They don't have any discounts. Nope. That's with AAA, by the way. That is the discounted price. We don't have AAA anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I said we did. So make it like 160 then. I All right. Put the cavern in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It has been an interesting night tonight, hasn't it, Julie? Yes. Okay. Um, big decision. I mean, what would you do? We're going to hike, Lord willing, Guadalupe Mountain tomorrow morning, which is the highest point in texas it's a significant hike i think it's about an eight mile round trip uh steep elevation so you, you really need to get a good night of rest so the options we had available right now would be the hotel which uh has heat and we can just jump into bed unfortunately the hotel is rated at two point something out of five um and um it's going to set us back 140 dollars Option B would be the campsite. That's only $22, but it's going to drop down to about 40 degrees tonight. It is after 9 o'clock, and we would have a lot of setting up to do. Shane's already sleeping in the backseat of the car, and Julie does not like cold weather. And option C would be the free option where we sleep in the car at the local truck stop. <laughs> there was a bathroom close by. So I'm asking you, as my loyal viewers... You can feel free to leave the comments down below as to what you would do if you were in my position with your family. We did choose. All right, we're heading back down. That is gonna be the end of this video. It's windy up here. I apologize for the noise, but I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below. Be glad to answer any questions you might have. What a great day. And how can I forget, there is always room for you on our next National Park Adventure. <laughs>